This is the Star News Brief. I'm Susan Kiprono. At around 7.30 a.m. on October 4th, benevolence teacher was helping his father to cut grass for their animals before they could go to church. On that particular day, the seven-year-old's right hand was cut off by the chuff cutter at the wrist. It fell off completely. The boy arrived at Kenyatta National Hospital three hours later and was received by the doctor on call who later alerted the other team of surgeons. The hand was stored in a cool box as per the requirement. He was taken to the operating room and underwent a 10-hour surgery involving a team of anesthetists, nurses, plastic surgeons and orthopedic surgeons. On Wednesday, exactly 16 days since the operation, his joy could be seen as he's wheeled into the conference room in the company of his parents and doctors. I just got courage to take that hand and put it in this shopping bag. So I just picked it, a group shopping bag, I put it in a corner, sasa nikaanza safari juu lakini ile nilikuwa naona saa hiyo ni kulash to the hospital tuweze kuokoa mtoto wetu juu alikuwa anabii sana Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash President Uhuru Kenyatta on Wednesday set the country on the road to a new constitution after receiving the Building Bridges Initiative report. It received the report alongside ODM leader Raila Odinga at the Kisi State Lodge. The report, which will be launched officially at the Bombers of Kenya on Monday, proposes to substantially alter the 2010 constitution. An amendment bill in the report proposes to amend 58 of the current 264 articles of the constitution. Key among the proposals is the expansion of the executive by re introducing the position of Prime Minister with two deputies. Other proposals will see Parliament expanded, while the allocation for counties will be increased from the current 15% to 35%. This document does not belong first and foremost to me and Raila. It doesn't. It belongs to you. This document is not about this individual's presidency and that individual's prime ministership, that individual's this. No. This is about all of us. The release of the BBI report ignited fresh political battles immediately it became public on Wednesday. A number of politicians allied to DP William Ruto threw cold water on the report, some calling it just flowery and underwhelming. Ruto wasn't at the handing over ceremony at the Kisi State Lodge, choosing to attend the burial of an Eldorate MCA. Kenyans online were also divided on the report, with some supporting the proposals while others opposed the creation of new executive positions and the expansion of of Parliament. The changes proposed by the BBI team could lead the country to a referendum in the coming months. The nine petitions relating to the dissolution of Parliament will be mentioned before the five-judge bench appointed by Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu on November 23rd. On Wednesday, Justice James Macau said the bench, led by Justice Lydia Achode, was ready to sit. Macau said due to time constraints and the diary of all the judges, the only time all the judges will be available is on November 23rd. While mentioning the nine cases separately, Justice Macau said all the other matters raised by the parties will be handled by the five judge bench when they sit next month. State Council Emmanuel Bitter had asked the court to consolidate the matters, arguing that the cases raise the same issues and it would also enable them in filing their responses if they are heard together. And finally, several schools have reported cases of COVID-19 since the institutions were reopened last week after seven months of closure due to the pandemic. And with the second wave of coronavirus threatening, stakeholders are mulling a stop to the gradual reopening of schools. All primary and secondary schools reopened on October 12th for learners in Grade 4, Standard 8 and Form 4. The three classes account for 2.8 million learners who have so far reopened. The recall back to class was expected to be an experiment that will inform the way forward for a gradual resumption of learning that would later include all other learners. But barely two weeks into the reopening, several institutions are reporting cases among students and teachers. On Wednesday, learning in two secondary schools in Mombasa was suspended after 15 teachers tested positive for COVID-19. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. You can also get more on The Star website.